right guys, so I said we were gonna go for a ride and we're gonna hop in the Model 3. The idea is, can we get a full 310 miles out of a full charge on the Model 3? So I have Tez, I charged it up fully last night. We're at exactly 310 right now. We're gonna hop on the freeway, go the speed limit, and see what we get. Stay tuned. And if we make it all the way, we'll end up in Las Vegas. It's actually almost exactly 310 miles. So if we if we get exactly the rated range, we'll run out of run out of juice maybe right outside of town. Um, and for the record, we do have a company lined up with our own tow truck and all that, so this isn't like some kind of prank video or any dumb thing like that. Okay, so we're in uh, near Joshua Tree. We went 139 miles. We have 133 estimated remaining. Uh, so we're not going to get anywhere near uh, 310 or even 305 when we kind of officially started the trip. The question is if we had a big elevation change on the way here, will we gain all of that back? Because if so, then, then this may actually work out. But as of right now, about halfway in, it looks like we're only gonna get about 270 miles or so. So we'll see. So we're here at 29 Palms Supercharger as uh, just to kind of stop. We were trying to think this was halfway and then halfway back to San Diego. We've got 90 miles left of charge and we've traveled 189 miles so far. Don't think we're gonna make it all the way back and we're not gonna charge here. So we're just stopping in um, to kind of mark this as, as a turnaround point. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, the, the watt hours per mile seem to be pretty good but we're not getting the range out of it. And I don't know if that's because of the lowering and the rims or anything else, but uh, yeah, more to come. All right guys, we just got back from lunch and we went from 88 miles to 67 miles of degradation in about an hour, hour and a half. Our goal was to make it down to Temecula, but I don't know if we're gonna get it. So as of right now, it looks like we're gonna get about 267 miles out of a 310 mile charge that we started with this morning. So a bit of a difference there. Um, we'll see how far we actually get and then what happens. close to zero, it limits your speed and all kinds of things start to shut down because it wants to maximize. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I mean, 18 miles away is pretty quick, pretty soon. Seven miles. All right, zero miles. We're officially at 279. Finally got the warning. Battery power too low. We're not quite dead yet, but um, about 35 miles an hour is as fast as we can go right now. So my foot is all the way down on the gas. Yep, and that's about it. So we may make it to the supercharger, but... Okay, so it's, it's officially dead. We're here. This is probably a bad place to park in between two cars. Wow. Okay, so I, I think that's it. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we did it. The hazards are on. Now we have to call our tow truck um, and see what they say. We're kind of in the lane, which is probably not the best place to be. I am surprised that it's still on. All right, so we're, we're, we're dead in the water here at, wipers are off, 281.1 miles with a watt hours per mile of 267. Um, and we spent 75 kilowatts, kilowatt hours, exactly. So that goes, I wonder, I thought it was an 80 kilowatt hour battery. 
And we really, there weren't too many hills. This is like a pretty mellow drive. So there's a real world range for you. And we were in autopilot doing the speed limit almost the entire way. Um, it was very little other driving. So yeah, I would say that's a real world test. Now to see what happens and how you get out of this mess. Stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm.